Holidays a little bit brighter for mothers with premature babies. Today, she dropped off 60 gift baskets to Community Regional Medical Center. It will help parents with premature babies. CBS 47's Angelica Lalani joins us live in the studio with more on this special gift. Angelica. Well, Maria Z Mariah Zingarelli is a new mother herself. She says her daughter was born early but did not have to stay in the NICU. And though while there at the hospital, she saw a need for those who did and wanted to help. So she took to social media where more than 100 donors stepped up. Basket after basket, each filled to the brim. I can fit one more. With newborn items like diapers and bottles for these sweet little miracles. Hi, I have this for you. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Mariah Zingarelli says five months ago it could have been her daughter here in the NICU. She started going into labor at 29 weeks, but says baby Addison made it to 36 weeks. We stayed six days in the hospital just for a little bit longer monitoring, and she lost a pound by the time that we left. So it could have been a huge reality for us, but we got lucky, and most people aren't. And for those who aren't, she wanted to use her platform to help the 25 year old has a popular blog and more than 15,000 followers on Instagram. So at the end of October, she put the word out of what she wanted to do. People all over I had donated. I had companies donate, DocuTot. I had Little Luna Company who donated $1,500 worth of swaddles and knitted gowns. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to do it without everyone's donations. The hospital calling Zingarelli a blessing. Just wonderful and such a blessing to the parents who are here over the holidays and, you know, not having their baby at home. Zingarelli now getting to meet the mothers of these precious bundles of joy. This is for you. Congratulations. The gifts not just for the littles, but for the parents too, from makeup to watches. Just kind of some fun stuff for you. An overwhelming feeling for Jill Blanks, whose son Jensen was not expected to survive. Born about two and a half months early at just one pound, he's now up to three. It means so much to have somebody just like want to give back to people who they don't even know, but they just have that on their heart, and I feel like that's God's angels walking the earth. And Zingarelli says she hopes to make this an annual event. In the studio tonight, I'm Angelica Leilani, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.